Hey, good morning, y'all. How is everybody? I hope well, I hope safe, and that it's a happy Sunday to you. Well, welcome back to another vlog. We have come so far on this Bible in one year journey, and I am going to be reading Psalms chapter 34 all the way through to 37. We are already on day 162 of Bible in one year. Well, I just finished reading Psalms chapter 33 yesterday, where I read about God to be praised and his people encouraged by his power. And I am reading from the New King James Version. And for those of you that would like to make Jesus Christ your personal Lord and Savior, I always say a prayer at the end. And if you can repeat after me if you choose to make that decision. All right, Psalms chapter 34, verse 1 through 22. A Psalm of David, when he pretended madness before Abimelech, who drove him away and he departed. I will bless the Lord at all times. Psalms chapter 34, verse 1 through 22. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul sh Psalms chapter 34, verse 1 through 22. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make its boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear of it and be glad. O oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord and he heard me and delivered me from all my fears. They looked at him and were radiant, and their faces were not ashamed. This poor man cried out, and the Lord heard him, and saved him out of all his troubles. The angel of the Lord encamps all around those who fear him, and delivers him. O oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man who trusts in him. O oh, fear the Lord, you his saints. There is no want to those who fear him. The young lions lack and suffer hunger, but those who seek the Lord shall not lack any good. Come, ye children, listen to me. I will teach you the fear of the Lord. Who is the man who desires life and loves many days that he may see good? Keep your tongue from evil and your lips from evil deceit. Depart from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. The eyes of the Lord are on the righteous and his ears are open to their cry. The face of the Lord is against those who do evil, to cut off the remembrance of them from the earth. The righteous cry out, and the Lord hears, and delivers them out of all their troubles. The Lord is near to those who have a broken heart, and saves such as have a contrite spirit. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers him out of them all. He guards all his bones. Not one of them is broken. Evil shall slay the wicked. And those who hate the righteous shall be condemned. The Lord redeems the soul of his servants, and none of those who trust in him shall be condemned. Psalms chapter 25, verse 1 through 28. Plead my cause, O Lord, with those who strive with me. Fight against those who fight against me. Take hold of shield and buckler, and stand up for my help. Also, draw out the spear, and stop those who pursue me. Say to my soul, I am your salvation. Let those be put to shame and brought to dishonor who seek after my life. Let those be turned back and brought to confusion who plot my hurt. Let them be like chaff before the wind and let the angel of the Lord chase them. Let their way be dark and slippery and let the angel of the Lord pursue them. For without cause they have hidden their net for me in the pit which they have dug without cause for my life. Let destruction come upon him unexpectedly, and let his net that he has hidden catch himself into that very destruction, let him fall. And my soul shall be joyful in the Lord. It shall rejoice in his salvation. All my bones shall say, Lord, who is like you, delivering the poor from him who is too strong for him. Yes, the poor and the needy from him who plunders him. Fierce witnesses rise up. They ask me things that I do not know. They reward me evil for good, to the sorrow of my soul. But as for me, when they were sick, 
My clothing was sackcloth. I humbled myself with fasting, and my prayer would return to my own heart. I paced about as though he were my friend or brother. I bowed down heavily as one who mourns for his mother. But in my adversity, they rejoiced and gathered together. Attackers gathered against me, and I did not know it. They tore at me and did not cease with ungodly mockers at feast. They gnashed at me with their teeth. Lord, how long will you look on? Rescue me from their destructions, my precious life from the lions. I will give you thanks in the great assembly. I will praise you among many peoples. Let them not rejoice over me who are wrongfully my enemies, nor let them wink with the eye who hate me without a cause, for they do not speak peace but they devise deceitful matters against the quiet ones in the land. They also opened their mouth wide against me and said, Aha, aha, our eyes have seen it. This you have seen, O Lord. Do not keep silence. O Lord, do not be far from me. Stir up yourself and awake to my vindication, to my cause, my God and my Lord. Vindicate me, O Lord, my God, according to my righteousness. And let them not rejoice over me. Let them not say in their hearts, Ah, so we would have it. Let them not say, We have swallowed him up. Let them be ashamed and brought to mutual confusion, who rejoiced at my hurt. Let them be clothed with shame and dishonor, who exalt themselves against me. Let them shout for joy and be glad, who favor my righteous cause. And let them say continually, Let the Lord be magnified who has pleasure in the prosperity of his servant. And my tongue shall speak of your righteous and of your praise all the day long. Psalms chapter 36, verse 1 through 12. An oracle within my heart concerning the transgression of the wicked. There is no fear of God before his eyes, for he flatters himself in his own eyes when he finds out his iniquity and when he hates the words of his mouth are wickedness and deceit. He has seized, seized to the wise and to the good. He devises wickedness on his bed. He sets himself in a way that is not good. He does not abhor evil. Your mercy, O Lord, is in the heavens. Your faithfulness reaches to the clouds. Your righteousness is like the great mountains. Your judgments are a great deep, O Lord. You preserve man and beast. How precious is your loving kindness, O God! Therefore, the children of men put their trust under the shadow of your wings. They are abundantly satisfied with the fullness of your house, and you give them drink from the river of your pleasures. For with you is the fountain of life. In your light we see light. O oh, continue your loving kindness to those who know you, and your righteousness to the upright in heart. Let not the foot of pride Come against me, and let not the hand of the wicked drive me away. There the workers of iniquity have fallen. They have been cast down and are not able to rise. Psalms chapter 37, verse 1 through 40. Do not fret because of evildoers, nor be envious of the workers of iniquity. For they shall soon be cut down like the grass and wither as the green herb. Trust in the Lord and do good. Dwell in the land and feed on his faithfulness. Delight yourself also in the Lord, and he shall give you the desires of your heart. Commit your way to the Lord. Trust also in him, and he shall bring it to pass. He shall bring forth your righteousness as the light and your justice as the noonday. Rest in the Lord and wait patiently for him. Do not fret because of him who prospers in his way. Because of the man who brings wicked schemes to pass, cease from anger and forsake wrath. Do not fret. It only causes harm. For evildoers shall be cut off. But those who wait on the Lord, they shall inherit the earth. For yet a little while, and the wicked shall be no more. Indeed, you will look carefully for his place, but it shall be no more. But the meek shall inherit the earth and shall delight themselves in the abundance of peace. The wicked plots against the just and gnashes at him with his teeth. The Lord laughs at him. 
for he sees that this day is coming. The wicked have drawn the sword and have bent their bow to cast down the poor and needy, to slay those who are of upright conduct. The sword shall enter into their own heart and their bows shall be broken. A little that a righteous man has is better than the riches of many wicked. For the arms of the wicked shall be broken, but the Lord upholds the righteous. The Lord knows the days of the upright, and their inheritance shall be forever. They shall not be ashamed in the evil time. And in the days of famine they shall be satisfied, but the wicked shall perish, and the enemies of the Lord, like the splendor of the meadows, shall vanish. Into smoke they shall vanish away. The wicked borrows and does not repay, but the righteous shows mercy and gives. For those blessed by him shall inherit the earth, but those cursed by him shall be cut off. The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord, and he delights in his way. Though he fall, he may not be utterly cast down, for the Lord upholds him with his hand. I have been young and now am old, yet I have not seen the righteous forsaken, for his descendants begged bread. He is ever merciful and lends and his descendants are blessed. Depart from evil and do good, and dwell forevermore. For the Lord loves justice and does not forsake his saints. They are preserved forever. But his descendants of the wicked shall be cut off. The righteous shall inherit the land and dwell in it forever. The mouth of the righteous speaks wisdom, and his tongue talks of justice. The law of his God is in his heart. None of his steps shall slide. The wicked watches the righteous and seeks to slay him. The Lord will not leave him in his hand, nor condemn him when he is judged. Wait on the Lord and keep his way, and he shall exalt you to inherit the land. When the wicked are cut off, you shall see it. I have seen the wicked in great power and spreading himself like a native green tree. Yet he passed away, and behold, he was no more. Indeed, I sought him. He could not be found. Mark the blameless man and observe the upright. For the future of that man is peace, but the transgressors shall be destroyed together. The future of the wicked shall be cut off, but the salvation of the righteous is from the Lord. He is their strength in the time of trouble, and the Lord shall help him and deliver them. He shall deliver them from the wicked and save them because they trust in him. And that concludes today's reading. Now it says in Psalms chapter 37, verse 39, but the salvation of the righteous is from the Lord. He is their strength in the time of trouble. When hard times come, we often feel listless, powerless, weak, and worried. Even when we don't have these feelings, we still really are weak. We must find our strength in God, for his might never wavers. Well, if you have any questions about today's reading, please send me a comment below, and I will get back with you as soon as I can. Now, I said at the beginning that Jesus Christ is not your personal Lord and Savior, and you like him to be, that I would say a prayer at the end, and I'm going to say a prayer right now. And for those of you that choose to make that decision, let's bow our heads. Heavenly Father, I come to you in prayer asking you for the forgiveness of my sins. I confess with my mouth and believe with my heart that Jesus is your son. And that he died on the cross for me at Calvary that I might be forgiven. And have eternal life in the kingdom of heaven. Father, I believe that Jesus rose from the dead. And I ask right now that you come into my life and be my personal Lord and Savior. I repent of my sins and will worship you all the days of my life. Because your word is truth, I confess with my mouth that I am born again and cleansed by the blood of Jesus. 
In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Well, if you prayed that prayer, that is such exciting news, and you just made one of the most wonderful decisions of your life. It says in Luke that when one person repents, that all the angels in heaven rejoice. And it's just so great to have the assurance and know that when your time near death comes, you know without a shadow of a doubt that your eternity is going to be spent in heaven with Jesus Christ. Well, go out and spread the good news and tell others of what the Lord has done for you. Well, for those that did not pray that prayer and want more information on how to have that personal relationship with Jesus Christ, please send me a comment below. I'll definitely get back with you as soon as I can. Well, thank you guys so much for tuning in and being here with me on Time with Tiffy. I sure do hope you enjoyed today's reading. Please join me again on my channel tomorrow. And remember to share, comment, like, and subscribe, subscribe, subscribe to Time with Tiffy, where we sip on tea so flavory, eat treats so savory, and enjoy reading these books of the Bible, doing Bible in one year. You all have a wonderful weekend. Have a blessed Sunday. Until next time.